Ah, come on, another one. Ah, I was never any good in sports. I hated gym class. Pick last for every team, except dodgeball. And the gym teacher hated me. Anderson, take another lap. Why don't you take another lap? The only thing I was good at was track and field. Pole vault, drove that sucker right in the ground. Hey, I did a good thing, though. I straightened out those uneven bars. Uh, those were the days. Now, everyone's into fitness. Well, not me. People are always saying, Louie, you want to go jogging? Want to go for a little run? No. I got a car. I'll meet you there. That's what I think of fitness. You know what I like to do? I like to go down, take a nice walk, right into a donut shop. Get a great big donut, sit there and chew it. That's the exercise I like getting. That's right. Elementary school was just one humiliation after another. Unrecognizable cafeteria food. Overcrowded school buses. But the worst humiliation by far was the human Over. torture session held three times a week. Jensen. They Brody. called it gym class. Brody. Come on. Make up your mind. This is a tough choice. Franklin. Ah, oh, Franklin, I'm over here, this way. Saving the best for last, huh? All right, we'll take Anderson. Well, what are we playing anyway? Bombardment! <laughs> oh. Hey, Anderson, pick it up. Pick it Mark up. Don't be Lay down, that's what I'd like to do. That's oh. the third yeah. time you've been oh. left. I thought I was in front. Bring it on home, people. All right, boys and girls, I want you to say hello to my friend, the Uneven Bars. I need a volunteer. Anderson, come here. This is great, Coach. I think I've mastered this. Can I get down now? Come on, Anderson. Put some Please. swing into it. Now oh, dismount. The world's going up and down on me. Perfect. Let's oh. try it again, Anderson. If at first you don't succeed... Quint. That's the spirit, son. Take a lap. It always took me two days to recover from gym. A little snack, some TV watching, an afternoon nap, just what the doctor ordered. Unfortunately, my dad changed the prescription. Hey, Anderson. Oh, to get me. What's wrong with your kid? Louie. What kind of kid doesn't play baseball? That's not American. What are you talking about? My kid's as American as, as, as those french fries you're eating. So Louie is playing. You mean Louie the Babe Anderson? Of course he is. In fact, he's probably at home practicing his slider right now. <laughs> Kid's so excited about baseball season, he hasn't slept in days. So, we'll see you at the games on Saturdays, right? That's right. Me and the Babe will be there. Here you go, Louie, your favorite chocolate chip. Mom, will you sign this for me? Well, what is it, dear? Please excuse Louie from gym class. He's sick as a dog. Oh, Louie, I can't sign this. You need a serious medical ailment to get excused from gym class. I stubbed my toe. Does that count? Now, why do you want to get out of gym anyway? I hate it. I can't do any of the sports. I'm always last. Today I could clean in the back. Oh. Louie, you just don't try. You don't apply yourself. That's not true. I applied myself right into the gymnasium wall. Hey. Come on out here, babe. Ooh. Not you. Mm -hmm. The other babe. Mm -hmm. What's this for? Just a little something to ring in the new season, babe. <sighs> Forget it, Dad. I'm not playing baseball. Come on, Louie. For me. Have I ever asked you to do anything for me? You asked me to mow the lawn. You asked me to rake the leaves. You asked me to shovel snow. Today, you asked... Have I ever asked you to do anything for me today? All the other guys at work are going to watch their kids play baseball on Saturdays. What am I supposed to do? Same thing you always do. Sleep till noon, get up, then you take a nap. I heard that. Ah, babe. I mean, Larry. There's got to be something we can work out. You know, I scratch your back, and you scratch me. Sure, my back didn't itch, but my toe 
<clears throat> Please excuse Louis from gym class for the rest of the year. His ingrown toenail has become grossly infected and could endanger the toes of his classmates. Signed, Andy Anderson. <clears throat> what? You don't believe me? Of course, this now meant that I was obligated to play baseball. Hey, Louie, yeah. How bad could that be? <laughs> What's the big idea? <laughs> You're supposed to catch it. Jeannie, you're a chipmunk. The good news was I was on the same team as all my friends. Hey, Louie, I thought you were too busy training for the Olympic gymnastic team. Yeah, what changed your mind? I made a deal with my dad. He got me out of gym class. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? That's some deal, Louie. <laughs> the bad news was our coach. Hey, Anderson, looks like that ingrown oh. toenail's healing nicely. You know, a few wind sprints ought to speed up the healing process. Grunewald was right. Dad had sold me Swampland. Instead of seeing Coach Rockwell three days a week in gym class, I saw him at baseball practice five days a week and a game every Saturday. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Oh, man, I can't believe I fell for that. Come on, Anderson, show me some hustle. You got it, Coach. Some hustle coming right up. Hey, Anderson, take a lap. Oh, Come on, people. Put your body behind the ball. All right, this is for you, Anderson. And look alive. Pick oh. it up. Throw it to first. Hey, I stopped the ball. Someone else can throw it to first. Geez, I got to do everything around here. Give me three laps, Anderson. All right, Mr. Ingrown Toenail. Grab a bat. Come on, Louie. Oh. oh, Anderson, the bat. Stays in your hand, and the ball is supposed to go to the outfield. Oh, details, details. Give me three laps. <laughs> that a boy. That's a good hit. Look alive out there. Anderson. Uh-oh. How about I just give you three laps, coach? Five. By the end of the week, I'd made exactly no hits, fielded exactly no balls, and jogged exactly 336 laps. Slugger's home! Don't move, Dad. You got something on your head. I know. I think it's alive. I'll get it. No. I'm a cheering chipmunk. Does Mom know? Are you kidding? It was your mom's idea. We're all cheering chipmunks. I wouldn't brag about that. We're just getting ready for the big game tomorrow. Oh, don't tell me you're wearing those hats of the game. We wouldn't want to embarrass you. Good. So I made these matching shirts, too. Finally, opening day. The whole world got a chance to see the results of Coach Rockwell's expert guidance and training. Tomorrow, you're all doing laps all day long. Put the babe in. Put in Slugger Anderson. He'll change. Where's the babe? Uh, yeah. How come the Slugger's not playing? He's going to play. They're just saving him up. See that? The coach is talking to him right now. All right, Toenail. I got a job for you. Am I going in, coach? Yes, you're going in. To the convenience store down the block. Picking up some sodas and bringing them back. Let's see some hustle now. Swing batter! Swing batter! <laughs> Take a shot at him! Take the pitch! Swing batter! Take a shot at him! Don't swing! What are you talking about? That was a ball. What are you doing, toddler? I thought I told you not to swing at that. Sorry, Coach. I couldn't hear you over Louie's dad. Oh, Louie, huh? Take another lap, Louie. What would I do? Put the babe in. Toenail, come back here. Is there any way I could muzzle your dad short of putting you in? Nope. Didn't think so. Take this and get out there. The Just keep in. your eyes closed. Maybe we'll Anderson. get lucky and the, the ball Put will the hit you. Well, thanks for the positive reinforcement, Coach. The babe, the Louisville slugger. That's my kid. Goodbye, Mr. Pauly. Well, is it little loser? I took a deep breath and thought back on all the guidance I'd gotten from Coach Rockwell. Close your eyes. That took all of a second. Oh. 
trying to say? It sounded like, give me three laps. I guess that's the end of the season, huh? We did pretty well this year. Only one loss. Wake up. We only had one game. We the season just started. Well, we're through. Yes, again, my furry little varmint. Get uh, meet your new coach. Oh, oh no. We're in for it now. now, first thing we gotta do is change the name of this team. What's wrong with the chipmunks? You know what a chipmunk is? It's a little beady-eyed rodent that gets run over in the street. Might as well call the team Road Kills, huh? <laughs> That's more appropriate. Now, when I was down at Army Surplus, which I am every Saturday getting a new shipment in, getting new uniforms for all you, I came up with the perfect name! The Mortar Glass. Dad spent the next week trying to whip us into shape. Exactly what shape that was, I'm not quite sure. A strong offense is the best strategy. All right, here's how you gotta look at it. <laughs> that man on first, uh, he's uh, Germany. And Germany's never content with first base. No, sir, he's gonna go after uh, uh, France, that's right. And then he's gonna go after Poland, yeah. And then he's gonna go after Norway, that's where he made a big mistake. And only you two can stop him. Weeble! The fate of the free world rests in your hands. They're good people, they're good people. Nice game. Good game. Good game. <sighs> Leave it to Anderson to take a last place team and make them worse. Oh dear. Louie? Is something the matter? I'm such a loser. I'm dragging my team down. No, you're not, Louie. It's true. Dad tried to trade me yesterday. Of course, the only thing he could get from me was a pair of batting helmets. He considered it, though. You'll improve. Your team just needs to work on a couple of things. Well, we've got the handshake at the end of the game down, Pat. You know, Louie, I used to play a little stick ball with my brothers on the farm. They showed me a lot of tricks. Do you remember any of them? Oh, maybe one or two. Now, if you want an outside slider, you put your middle finger across the stitches like this. Remember the breathing pattern I taught you? All right, now give me the heat, Louie! Oh. There you go, that's perfect! Wait till Dad sees what you showed me, Mom. Let's just keep this our little secret for the time being, okay? Grab a bat, now let's take a look at your stance. Ooh. He crushed it! Oh. He crushed it! Oh. Right, way to go, babe! Oh. See that? All it took was a little expert coaching. It felt good to be on the winning side of the handshake for a change. I was starting to see the appeal of the whole baseball thing. The next day after school, while Dad was still at work, I invited the whole team over to my house to meet my mom. Level swing. All right, chin up, shoulder out, lead with the hips. That's it. Good! Slide, toddler, slide! Gosh, I can't do this. When I was a little girl, I had to slide head first so my skirt wouldn't fly up over my head. I don't wear a skirt. Pretend that you do. Wear the skirt, toddler. That's it! That's Every day that week, Mom gave us lessons. And on the weekend, Dad coached us to victory. Drop the bomb! Sneak attack! The mortar blast went on a winning streak. We were out of the cellar and we were headed for the attic. Set up the blockade! Sneak attack! Oh, my God. 
And then the impossible happened. Hey, hey, hey. Lily! We made it! We're in the playoffs! The whole town turned out to watch the playoffs. The only problem was that the game was played at night, under the lights. Still, the weeks of practice had paid off. All right, Mortar Blast, time for Operation Invade the Infield. That's eh, like I tell you. Where are the screws? Where are the screws? Where are the screws? Choke up, Jeannie. Choke up on the bat. Where are you, Mrs. Anderson? Let's go, Bill. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Oh, dear. Here comes a little girly pitch for you. <laughs> As I can tell you. Bring it out of here, you big. Come on, slugger. One more to go. <laughs> Come on, bring it on in. It's the championship. Uh, sorry. Go ahead and pitch. No pressure here. Mr. One out away for winning the World Series. All four. What are you talking about? That caught the corner. Come on, Luke. Hey, Lucille. One out to go, and I was pitching to Glenn Glenn. Without Mom's help, I didn't have a prayer. I tried my fastball. I tried my knuckleball. He was getting a piece of everything. Time out! Next one's going right down your throat, Noogie. Maybe we should just walk this cement in, huh? That'll tie the game. Well, if we're gonna do that, at least let me beat him. Walk him, slugger! Look who's next! Franklin. Time's up! Let's go! What? Which pitch should I use? Knuckleball? Curveball? Walk him! How about a curving knuckleball? Walk him now! Come on, Louie! Pitch it in here! Bring it on in here, you babe! Come on, bring it on in! Give him the outside slider, Louie! <gasps> Don't listen to her, Louie! Walk him! Hey, Usher, there's a nutcase in the death row. Would you get rid of her? This one's for you, Mom. Again, you gotta walk him. Out of here! You did it! We won! Oh. That's my ball! That's my slugger! Yeah, we won! All right, boys. Don't be letting me too high now. Just because I led you to victory doesn't mean. Huh? Congratulations, Coach. You mean, uh, assistant coach, don't you? I should be congratulating you. Nonsense. You were their leader. Yeah, that's true. You taught them how to be a team. I just provided a different point of view. Right again. They would have been nowhere without me, huh? Absolutely. They would have been lost without me. Hopelessly. Let's go home, Coach. So tell me, dear, uh, when you throw that slider, does your trigger finger go with the laces or uh, cross them? The next week, I decided to go back to gym class. Baseball season had left me in pretty good shape. And besides, football season was coming up. Uh-oh. Anderson, you and your whole family, take a lap. Hey, Mom, 
Your brothers ever teach you anything about football? Ah, call that a throw. You're never gonna pitch for the Dodgers. Come on, burn it in. There you go. Hey, watch it, buddy. All right.